but I was in the Territorial Army years ago as a weekend warrior and I've loved motor racing my entire life and I never knew the British Army had a racing team. So please Major, tell us all about it. So we're uh, British Army Motorsport Association which has been in existence for when you were in the Army. Uh, it's been around for about 50, 60 years. It started off with dispatch riders racing around on their motorbikes and the early Land Rovers following the actual rallies around the forest of Scotland. That was way back when, in, uh, but we've obviously progressed and we have grown. So we're now uh, eight disciplines strong across the four wheel, which is what you can see here today, which is the race cars, the stage rally team, go-karts and the navigation rallies. We've also got two wheel discipline with road races, I think Ironman TT, we do enduro racing where we've got a world champion. I can't remember his name. <laughs> we'll come we'll back to it. We'll, we'll come back to it. Uh, we do trials where we've got a, a British champion, um, and we do we just started doing motocross. Uh, yeah, just motocross, which is a new discipline for us yeah. this year because of the risk. Of, and, and then we do. Uh, sorry, there's also got uh, the circuit racing motorcyclists where we've got a lad who's just retired, okay. uh, Spence, who was supporting the British Superbikes on his Ducati. So. Across the eight disciplines, we cover pretty much every form of motorsport okay. that you can imagine, but we, we, we've got all of the bases covered. Obviously, today here at the Autosport, we're here to engage, tell, tell, tell people about yourself, uh, about what you can do in the Army as a recognised sport. Yeah. So there's 44 sports in the Army, motorsport is one of them. Okay. So we are here representing the Army at work, effectively. Uh, but here to tell you, know, you guys that if you are in the military, you can do this sport. Oh it's or if you want to do these sports, joining the military can open that door. Indeed, yeah. And we, that's all we're all about. Our, our, our mission is to provide opportunities for serving soldiers into motorsports. So that's where you start with the go-karts. It's open to anybody. You turn up, you show a bit of commitment, you turn up to one of the race events, you go on a selection three days and then you're racing that for a personal wow. contribution of about £50 an event. Wow. There's three drivers in it, so they're competing across the country okay. uh, on civilian events, but against the Royal Air Force who are over in the corner over there. Don't talk about them. We don't, don't talk, talk about, about them. them. Don't say it, we only say it once in and, this and, conversation. And the, uh, the Royal Navy teams, but the, the Army lads, there's, there's eight of these go-karts that are, are driven by, by serving soldiers, both reserve and okay. uh, regular. And it's an ideal stepping stone into something a little bit bigger yeah, if, if you want yeah. to but also very cheap motorsport mm. is, is the aim are these vehicles kept sort of in similar areas for the various circuits or are these other sort of vehicles per circuits around the country so wherever the bases are they can be used at the bases how so, does that work so we are all completely all of us have come from different units we are based across the country and, and across the world um, realistically, we've got a couple of lads who are based out in Cyprus, some people who are living in Germany, so we're, we're not just one location. And uh, for the go-karts, they tend to go with the crew, so selected drivers will look after them, so okay. it's part of that commitment that you're going to take it back to your base. Okay. You're going to look after it, repair it, maintain it, repair it ready for the next race. For the race cars or the, the rally cars, they're... Um, Predominantly personally owned vehicles. Okay, so, I was going. Yeah, I was wondering the questions yeah, of so, how they maintain, who looks after these. No, so the, the Ferrari is personally owned vehicle. Oh. I mean, a, a fantastic vehicle, but it shows <laughs> the development that you can do. So Will, who owns that car, started with the Armed Forces Race Challenge about 11 years ago, ish, in a Civic. He won the championship, sold the car, made a little bit of money. He then bought a Holden V8, which has been a, a world touring car. Yeah. Won the championship, made some money, <laughs> got himself that. into a Ferrari. <laughs> so you know, it shows the stepping that you can do if you're determined. But the rest of the cars are owned, looked after, and maintained by us yeah. as, as individuals. Right. But if you've got like a team of you, so the stage rallying, you've got your service crew. So near where I live, there's a t two other lads who also live there. So we'll yeah. get together. They come and help me put it back together again when no I problem, bend it. Right. So you try not to bend it too often. Um, <laughs> and regarding um, being deployed, is that a case of hard luck, come back to your vehicle once you come home? You know, I mean, how does that work? So obviously we're all service soldiers and we're soldiers first. So if you get yeah. deployed, you go, but that's what yeah. you signed up to do. Of course. Uh, and that's, that's, that's what you want to do as well. So there is, 
we don't stop anyone going away. Uh, if you're lucky enough, someone can look after your vehicle whilst you're away. That's great. That's a Will's Ferrari is a prime example. He's currently on tour, but oh, we're looking okay. after his vehicle for him because that's <laughs> that's part of being in the military. It's yeah. all about you know looking that's after awesome. your off road, making sure that your neighbour is looked after. Yeah. That's, that's part of what we, we do is make sure that everybody is looked after, everybody is catered for, right. and we all we all scratch each other's backs. Um, we stop at allowing each other to drive each other's cars because I really want to drive this Sierra, but. Um, <laughs> Apparently no. Mark said it's too big a car for me, but uh, it is what it is. Oh, uh, brilliant. Well, so really all anyone has to do is, of course, be in the military or sign up to be in the military. And uh, being a race car driver could actually be part of your career. So excellent. Thank you so much, Major. I was so happy to have chatted to you today and met you and to have all these wonderful cars explained. Thanks so much. No worries. Anytime.